So, another pop a combo game. Uh, Night Ripper. Really cool opening. So this one has more of an urban feel to it than the, the other games I've played of his, which has only been two so far. But, yeah, from what I've seen with the other ones, you're kind of like trapped in a house or something in a, lo a lot of the time. This one is a more, uh, well, it's a New York Ripper inspired one, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, it has a, a really cool 80s feel to it. That synth score and everything. Really like this opening. Uh, I think I can skip it. I probably don't need to watch the whole thing. I, I get the idea. It's cool. Yeah, I can skip. Hey, Rachel, is your boyfriend coming to pick you up? That text is very hard to read. Actually, we broke up. How are you going to get home? Rachel, I'll just walk. Tim, walk. The West Side Ripper is out there. He killed three girls this week. Oh, okay. Uh, weren't they all prostitutes? This is a very unorganic conversation. I'll be fine. I don't live far away. Okay, you should really move to a better neighborhood, Rachel. You worry about everything. Well, I mean, if there's a serial killer who's knocking up like those kind of numbers in one week, that's something to worry about. I can't read that text at all. Right, ooh, that's a very sensitive mouse. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, I like that it says eject instead of quit. Uh, controls, quality, camera. Oh, yeah, I can switch camera again. This is like the, the Halloween game. First and third. I'll stay on third. Is this? Okay, yeah, that's much better. The news talking about the Night Ripper. Oh, wow. Conservative talk radio. Change into your street clothes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Though if he's only killing prostitutes, it would have probably been a safer option to stay in my waitress gear, because then at least he'd know I wasn't a prostitute. I mean, I don't think street walkers would really walk around as a... As a waitress. I'm sure that's a fetish, though. Okay, I've got my flashlight. I don't know how to turn it on, though. It would have been X in the other games, but I'm not sure why it changed now. I can't bring up inventory. Let's see. Controls. Um, mm -hmm. Aim with mouse. Oh, corner peak, yeah, that was in one of the other ones. Crouch, jump, F in the flashlight. Exit. Oh, maybe there was something, maybe I should have went looking around. Streets. Eh, it doesn't seem, it's not that dark. I probably don't need it. So I gotta get home. Now, there's no map or anything, so... Night Ripper, a shocking night of terror. That's great. Um, yeah, I, okay, there's no stamina bar, that's good. Uh, yeah, I guess I just kind of wander aimlessly until, w a lot of, okay, there's something here. Found a torn newspaper. 
read, yes. Uh, pandemonium spreads as the bodies of several prostitutes are found. Bedford, some local men have made a shocking discovery, causing panic to spread throughout the city. A young woman has turned up dead, the body dumped in the back of an alley. Upon discovery, the men immediately call the police. A source has identified the body as a local prostitute whose name has not yet been leaked to the police or to the public. Police cornered off the scene, searching for more remains. One woman who survived an attack on Tuesday claimed to not have seen the assailant's face, but told the police he drove a black sedan. It has also been revealed that the prostitutes were murdered with a switchblade. As the week continues, many are hiding in fright as all are, as all are tended to see if the killing could what? Many are hiding in fright as all are tended to see if the killing continues. Okay, that's a, that's a really awkward sentence. So a black sedan, I guess that's what I have to look out for. I probably shouldn't go walking down alleys. Oh, there's a rat. Yeah, what I was going to say before I picked up the newspaper, the thing with a lot of these kind of games, and, you know, the pocket... Pu pocket the puppet combo games I've played is that you kind of only really learn what to do through trial and error like you know it'd be like I'll be walking here and he'll pop out and kill me and then I know well next time I just have to avoid this part and go around or something you know it's nothing really becomes clear to you until you die Like now, I have no. I'm meant to be getting home, but I have no idea what I'm to do. But there is police down here. Now I suppose that's my fault because I didn't actually read up what I should do. But usually the game, like the narrative itself, should kind of tell you what you're to do. The block is cornered off. There must have been another murder. I need to find a different way home. Okay, like, you know. You shouldn't, with a book, you shouldn't have to read the back, the dust jacket, the back dust jacket of a novel to understand the story. Same with a movie. You should be able to just go to the cinema, pick out a movie you like, and be able to follow the story without, you know, looking it up on IMDb and reading the plot synopsis. And I think the same should go for a game. I'm just going in circles. You know, you shouldn't have to read the description to know what to do. The, the description of what you ought to do should be featured in the game as well you know so i know i have to get home but i have no idea where home is and how i'm to get there you know if i have to find obviously i have to find a shortcut so i did explain that uh, maybe that's a maybe i'm that's a bad example comparing it to novels and films and stuff okay a shortcut well hold on actually yeah let's Let's use logic and see if the game follows. So she wanted to get home. This is but her from going home. So she has to find another way. Yeah, she should be going down an alley here. And up here, maybe. Okay. Yeah, this is obviously what I'm meant to do. But of course, this will lead me to danger. Which is the point of the game. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is a bad idea to be doing if there's a serial killer on the loose. Guess I have to keep going. Yeah, because you couldn't open the door or a gate. Okay, so the night. Oh. There we go, there's the black sedan. Okay. is driving down but you see so like okay so where am i to go now i i still don't know where home is so i think he's no i thought he had gotten around very quickly oh he's driving back down He turned. Okay, this is actually pretty creepy now.
I'm gonna wait a second till I feel like he's gone and just Oh, I thought there was an alley there. Oh, I need to hide down another alley. Or he is going to get me. Or I'll just run like a mad woman. In the direction I feel I should be going. Was that a sign for a peep show? Okay, we got an alley. Okay, I see another neon sign up there for like a hotel. There's no way out here. Really cool atmosphere. I've said this before with the... Oh, there's this car. It's out there. I've said this before about Papa Combo's games. Uh, he accomplishes so much with uh, so little. Or not so little, but the atmosphere in this is fantastic and so much better than like a lot of like triple a games he really like kind of understands the genre uh i guess like it's like the direction of the games is very good really moody and yeah just very good at what he does oh Maybe this is maybe I'm home. This looks like Oh. Oh, what do I do? Why is this I have no idea what's happening. This is glitching, I think. Uh, I can't move I'm yeah, okay. I can't move or anything. I've... What the fuck was that? So when he... I, I like can't move when he catches... When he spots me. I need to look up what to do here. Okay. So this kind of just goes back to what I was saying earlier about the game should like <laughs> tell you what you need to do because apparently what I actually have to do is find like weapons and shit as I travel home so as I can defend myself against them I would I never thought that was the purpose of the game I thought I just had to get home uh, and I either I geez I can't even remember it now I either right click or right mouse or left mouse uh i tap that to uh to keep my panic bar in the center i think uh, i'm not sure uh, i'll know when it comes back up again i'm probably going to run into him straight away now so we'll see but yeah so i have to find bits and pieces throughout right so see okay so it goes to adrenaline so that makes sense that's why it was freezing up before so it freezes up when you <laughs> you, you were free frozen with fear which is great I think that's a cool idea um, I guess I have to find an alley or something to hide in. Okay, so I escaped. But I'm covered in blood. Oh wow, I didn't think he got me. Why am I that bloody? <laughs> wow. I don't think there's a health bar. But yeah, so that's cool. That's a really cool game mechanic. I, I like that idea. So I'm not uh, shitting on it. I just uh, don't know why you wouldn't make that clear. People land. Uh, 
Oh, okay, we got some clues here. Found a flyer? Read, yes. Ladies, we guarantee you excellent, stable, and study income. Not steady income, but study income. Daily and weekly. We are very well, well established agency. What many years of experience, present satisfaction guaranteed, 100%. Come try it and decide. Your, I don't know if this is relevant to either a flyer for uh, an escort service or, I guess, the peep show. And this is... You found a rope. Pick it up. I got a rope. Okay. What do I do with the rope? Do I strangle the Night Ripper at some point? But... See, I don't know how... I don't have an inventory I can check. So how would I use a rope if I wanted to? Oh, inventory Z. I completely missed that. Oh, okay. Clip on. A rope. Maybe I can get to a higher position. Okay. He just drove down there again. Right, this is starting to... So that one's on me. I completely missed that I have an inventory. I want to get back to where I was that first time when I died. This is where I start. Just because I'm sure I can't interact with the car that was there at the motel or whatever that was. But... Oh, it is. Okay, he was. I, I really thought he was coming up there. Okay, he must have just gone in another direction. Ugh. God damn it, he's just not going to drive by. Should I just go in a completely different direction, so. Or just make a run for it. Oh, that is where I was, is it? No. Oh, oh. Okay, so I have to get back to... I have to get that rope and stuff again. But I can't actually remember where that was. Everywhere kind of looks the same. Down here, wasn't it? No, I guess not, but... Oh, no, it was, yeah. So... It's the flyer. Oh, no. Is it randomly... Wait, or maybe... Oh, wait, no. Oh, I do have the rope still. I thought I'd have to re-get the rope. So that was a waste of a journey. At least I didn't die in the process. Right. Use it to get to a higher position. But where... Like... Where should I be using the rope? Let's just see. I'm sure it's not one use. <laughs> yeah, like I just don't know where I should be using this rope. Is 
this isn't exactly the kind of game that there's going to be a mad amount of walkthroughs for, so... I have to find another alley I can go down, because that seems to be where... stuff is. Now, how did he get there that quickly? Okay, see, now I should run... Oh, yeah, you see. Now that I know he's down here, I should run in the opposite direction. But he'll just be back up here straight away, I'm sure. There's not enough alleys around here to hide in. Got me. Need to find an alley. I think he'll stop following me if I get down an alley or something. Oh no, I've just trapped myself. I can't even see him. He's gone. Okay. Well, at least I got to somewhere new. There might be something around here for me. position that's what I need to find is there anywhere here I could climb doesn't seem to be and he's out there oh shit okay I'm gonna wait a second and just run across that other alley I don't think I was down there Yeah, I was not down here before. Ah, now that looks like some... That looks like higher ground. Use. No, okay, so can I not... How do I use the... Um, that's definitely where I'm meant to go because... It's lit up, but... Use a particular spot. Okay, there we go. Very good. Oh, I'm in a crack then. Well, I'm likely to find a weapon here. Is that just a mountain of cocaine? Okay, I just want to be very thorough here, because I don't want to miss, like, a gun or something. Okay, he's pretty confident there's nothing there. Oh, no. I heard something break, so he's in here, I guess. Why he'd need to break into a crack then is beyond me, though. It could just be crackheads. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Looks like a Misfits album cover. Oh my god. I knew that was going to happen. Why couldn't it just be a crackhead? One life remaining. Okay, so don't go upstairs. 
not yet at least. So there has to be something here that can help me cause. I can't outrun him in a, in a crack then. So there has to be a weapon in here somewhere. I could try downstairs. It's just a strange orb there. Oh, it's a light bulb. <laughs> oh, he's got to be down here too, isn't he? Yeah, the fact that there's a feckin' maze down here seems like it'll uh, play a role. Anyone there? It's locked. Read the flyer, why not? Have you ever been for ready for an exam? Okay. <laughs> I think I messed up by even coming into this crack den so early. I probably was meant to find a gun outside. Go back now. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I hadn't been up here, had I? No, I don't think so. So there might be something here. Doesn't look like it though. I think once I go upstairs, he could be anywhere. It's the same spot. Oh, there's a TV playing. Weird. Oh shit. I can actually hear him. I can hear footsteps. Oh, so this is where I was. I just came around another way. So he's up here. This is like his lair. I feel like just hiding and waiting for morning to come. Oh, there we are. See, it's impossible to get away from him here. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's a fun game. I messed up, I think, by going into the crack den. 
too early. I obviously needed to find a weapon or something outside that would help me here. Uh, but I failed to do that. But overall, pretty fun little game. Good atmosphere. Uh, pretty creepy. But make sure you check out some of Puppet Combo's stuff anyway. Uh, you can find this game and many others on his Patreon. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.